How we doing, everyone? Andy Malafrini here. This is Drag the Lake. Uh, so I wasn't originally gonna talk about this, but someone hit me up and they're like, "Yo, Andy, what the fucking heck do you think of this song?" Oh shit, I X'd out of it. What the what the what the heck and s do you think about this song? And I was like, "Oh my god, for you, the world." I'll tell you, buddy. I'll let you fucking know. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I definitely checked this out, but it's been a week, so I got to listen to it again. If you guys do ever, if you like look on the channel and you're like, yo, Andy didn't talk about some shit I wanted to hear him talk about, hit me up, Andy Malfrena, or uh, yeah, that's what it is, Andy Malfrena, Instagram, Twitter. I'm on that a lot, so if you hit me up over there and I have time, I will talk about it. But yeah, no, I always like talking about this, and let's be real, Dance Gavin Dance does great numbers for the channel, so... I really should have talked about this <laughs> already, but either way, regardless, I'm a big Dance Gavin Dance fan. I've been really happy with a lot of stuff they've been putting out, uh, so let's check out this fucking song, War Machine.
There we go. Dance Gavin Dance War Machine. Um Yeah, man. I'm really excited for this album. If this is on an album. Well, even if it's not on an upcoming album. When the fuck did Jackpot User come out? Doesn't feel like that long ago. 2022. Weren't they sitting on it for a while, though? I remember reading that. I, why do I remember reading that somewhere? I feel like they were sitting on it for a while. Pause. I feel like they were... Um, I feel like they were sitting on it for a while because of COVID or some shit like that, right? I could be wrong. I don't remember. But, you know... That came out a year ago. I feel like they should wait longer. I don't know. I'm ready for new music. I got to be perfectly honest. Like on paper, on paper, it feels like they should wait longer. Yeah, July. Okay, you know, it's been a year and a half. And at this rate, they're probably coming out with. They probably would come out with an album either end of the year or beginning of next year, I think. Because this isn't like, the last one I believe was a song they were sitting on for a while. The one they put out for their uh, bassist. That one felt like a song they were sitting on for a while. Um, as like an ode to their uh, bassist that passed away. I apologize, I always forget his name. Um, excuse me, I'm sorry. I was chugging seltzers. I apologize, that's gross. I shouldn't have done that. I'm a bad boy. Um, yeah, but... I guess what I'm trying to get at is whether this is a lead up to a new album or not, or just like there is a chance this is just music that was left over that, that that didn't end up going on jackpot juicer, which would be a little bit of a shock because that album was fucking on a fucking hour long. So I'm shocked that they had more music left over because most bands put out a cool 30, which I've talked about before. I'm super, super okay with, uh, dude, get, bro, check that. Actually, no, 30 minutes, especially if it's good and out, al- a good album is fucking perfect. And I got, actually, I got to give dance Gavin dance credit on that last one. Hour was too long, but like the first half hour fucking crush, dude, let's bring up this fucking album. Um, Let's bring up the track listing. Yeah. Untitled. Cream of the Crop. Bodied. Synergy. Bodied. Holy Ghost. For the Jeers. Ember. Pop Off. One Man's Cringe. Feels Bad Man. Die Another Day. Bro. Just those fucking. That's like. Bro. Those 10 songs is a, a, a fucking beast of a 10 song run. I guess technically untitled two is like an intro. So nine, like that's a, that's a hard nine songs. That shit fucking rip, dude. I've never like, damn. Now I want to go back and listen to jackpot juicer. Cause dude, no fucking album that I can think of has nine songs that flow that fucking smoothly from one to another. Um, but, and, and honestly, after that, you know, cause I don't usually have time to just listen to an hour of music straight half the time. If I am listening to an hour of music straight, it's cause I'm sitting down to listen to music for like this YouTube channel or shit like that. Yeah. And by that time I want to change it up to a different style or whatever, but th- that's why I think they should have released this as a double album. Because it kind of is. Because once you hit two secret weapons, you're almost, just because you've been listening to that like that specific type of music for so long, you want to shift it up. But, dude, honestly, that second half of the album flows just as sweet. Damn, Jackpot Juicer is such a fucking good album. Sorry that I got sidetracked on, but Jackpot Juicer is such a strong fucking album. It might be their best of the Tillian age. It's really hard. Dance Gavin Dance has been so different from album to album. But if we're being perfectly honest, and that's all I am with you guys is perfectly honest. If we're being perfectly honest, Jackpot Juicer is the best of the Tillian era. Where's their discography? Here we go. Yeah, because it's like down pa- Downtown Battle Mountain rips, self-titled rips, and then Happiness and Downtown, downtown Battle Mountain 2 is good, but it feels forced sometimes. 
Oh, sidebar. I had someone comment on I was going to do a whole series where I did like reactions to I want to I want to start doing this is going to take forever, but I want to start doing full reactions to full discographies. And I've been trying to figure out where to start. And I had someone comment on some video I posted where I was going to do a whole a whole fucking thing um, about Dance Gavin Dance. But I scrapped it because I just don't I don't know. I mean, I guess I have time to edit videos, but whenever I'm sitting editing a video, I'm always like, I wish I was listening to music or listening or listening to an audiobook and learning about more shit. Maybe that's on me. Maybe I should just edit videos. But now I might start doing more um I might start doing that, doing like full album discography reactions cuz to be perfectly honest, it wouldn't be that hard to edit if I just but then you don't get the little interspersed, like, damn, that fucking part, this fucking part. Maybe I'll just do full album reactions unedited. Um, yeah, I got a little sidetracked on this. This song fucking rips. Uh, if if this is the direction that they're that they're going to go musically, I'm so fucking happy. Because I always love Dance, Gavin, Dance, but I always like to hear them sort of progress a little bit and shift their sound from album to album. Keep that core, keep those core values we always like, because... It was a little bit crazier and more chaotic on the screaming parts. Um, I liked how they were having those big open spaces on the catchy parts. Give it, giving us that great dance, Gavin dance balance that we're used to, but just like tweaking it a little bit more extreme on each, on each version of that. So yeah, man, please keep this up. If you're watching dance, Gavin dance, keep this up and you'll make me and everyone else very happy. Very, very fucking happy. Thanks for hanging out. Sorry. I was rambling on a bunch, but you guys know my shit. I love y'all. Till next time, have a good one. Be Oh, also, watch our fucking review with Tyler from Capra. You guys are sleeping on that shit. That's a good fucking review, dude. Or I'm sorry, interview. All right, I love y'all. Be about a peace.